Hey friends, tonight we are checking into Disney's Boardwalk Resort for a little staycation. I plan on giving you a full resort tour and then grabbing a bite to eat at the brand new Boardwalk Deli, possibly taking a dip in the carnival themed pool that they have here and just having a beautiful Boardwalk kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. The really awesome thing about our staycation tonight is the fact that it only cost $90. It was only $90 to stay here tonight and that's because I rented DVC points and I just couldn't pass it up. I mean that is such a great deal. This resort is one of my favorite resorts because of its close proximity to Epcot. You can literally walk to Epcot and you have so many things that are going on at the boardwalk. Just hanging out here at night is so fun, but we're gonna actually head to the room. I'm gonna show you the room tour, give you a look at what a $90 a night room looks like and just kind of relax and unwind a bit. Just to give you guys a little bit more information about renting DVC points, I pulled up the DVC rental store site and I have a link in the description of this video if you guys wanna check out the site. And next week, the Boardwalk Villas are going for $140 a night. Mine was $90 tonight because it's $10 a point and my room cost nine points. But this one right here is a better view because it's a garden pool. We just have a standard view, but it's still really amazing for $90. So you guys should definitely check it out. Like I said, all the links are in the description and it's amazing how much money you can save. Like I said, a $90 a night room at Disney is so amazing. It's like you really can't pass it up. I don't even think Pop Century, the all-star resort rooms are actually that cheap. And I want to show you guys the room. I mean, it's just a basic standard room, so it's not really, really over the top fancy, but we're at the boardwalk. You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you the room tour and then we're going to go around and enjoy some of the amenities around the resort itself. One of the things I like the most about the boardwalk is just the overall theme. It is so cool to look at all the different pictures, statues, chairs, and in fact, in the main lobby, a lot of people don't know this, but these pictures up here are every single castle from all the Disney parks from around the world. And they have so many of them. It's really, really amazing. And I just kind of like hanging out in the lobby, looking at the roller coaster here and relaxing. Now, a lot of people will say these rooms are a little bit dated, and I would kind of agree with them. It is scheduled for a refurbishment soon, but you cannot beat the location. And when I mean dated, I mean they're still beautiful rooms. It's just like they don't have like updated like furnishings, and I think the thermostats are still like 1970s wise, or not 1970s because it wasn't here in 1970s, but I mean it is a little dated, but it is going to get better, and you can't beat the location. I mean, location. Location, location, location. I'll show you guys what I mean when I say date it, but here is the room, and I do love it. It's still a very nice room. You have some nice carnival artwork. You have a couch with a pull-out bed, a nice little table here. The bed is nice, but you can see like the bed is a little bit dated too. There's no space underneath there, you know what I mean? And over here, you have another little pull-out day bed. We'll pull that out in a little bit, and I love it. I mean, I love all Disney resorts, but if you take a look, like here's the thermostat. It doesn't even have uh, digits on it. It just tells you cool. So, of course, we put that all the way down and all the way up. We got a little kitchen area right here. And this is just a standard studio. Nice little GE fridge. Some Mr. Coffee, not fully stocked. And then uh, the bathroom area here. I always like the mirror in the boardwalk, though. And they have amazing closets. Like, look at this. That's a huge closet. And the little suitcase, the luggage rack. Now I know what that is, but you see how it looks? It kind of kind of reminds you of an old-timey, you know, carnival boardwalk resort hotel. The thing I probably like most is the room is actually very big. You know what I mean? There's plenty of walking space and it's got a nice little bathroom right here with a separate door. There's a Ferris wheel shower and it's a tubby tub tub though. Let me show you. It's like a tub tub not a walk-in shower but they do have uh, free use uh, Disney H2O products I mean not even the fancy resorts actually have that and like I said overall it's a nice very nice room and for $90 I mean nobody can complain <laughs> inside this gigantic walk-in closet they've got a safe where you can put all your prized possessions in just lock that right up like there got some extra pillows Got some clothes hangers, and like I said, this goes way back. Look at this. Oh, what's back here? It's like we're journeying into Narnia. 
Oh, you could definitely spend the night in here. The only thing is, is there's no lights in the closet, but you can definitely see there is plenty of space in here. Look at this. Just kind of hanging out. Somebody can lay down and actually sleep in here too. Like I definitely think it's definitely accommodating. What if I just stayed in here until somebody came and checked back in this room? I know that being a local, staying one or two nights is ideal because, you know, we go on staycations, but if there are people that come down here and visit and they actually go on like full weekly vacations, you can also buy DVC through the world of DVC and they actually have a DVC resale market. I'll put the link in there and like tonight this room was nine points. So if you bought a hundred point membership, you could stay 10 nights at the boardwalk. You know what I mean like that's crazy and it would cost about the same amount of money as one week's vacation that you can just use for years and years so I mean it, it, it definitely has its added benefits I can say I definitely think we need to see what is uh, on this bed here gotta move the chair out of the way let me see here oh I don't know how this works really oh oh there it goes oh hold on oh oh that's sliding off catch that catch that bada bing bada boom Ooh. Oh, it's a sleeping Dumbo. Oh, that was a little loud. But look at that. A nice little sleeping Dumbo. Studios also come equipped with all the fancy necessities like a toaster, a microwave, paper towels. This looks like some silverware. Oh, look at this. An actual can opener too. You don't have to buy that. No French vanilla creamer though. Only the original stuff. You don't got time for that. Look at all that, very cool. Tons of different silverwares that you need. Put them right back up there. Then we got the dishes, the cups, all of it. What's down here? Recycle. I'm not gonna go too much into doing a room tour. It's just your basic standard studio, but let me know what you guys think. And like I said, they are scheduled for a refurbishment, so they're gonna get an updated, fresh look soon. And I cannot wait to see what that's like. I'm gonna definitely come back for that. And now I'm gonna head down to the boardwalk itself, get something to eat, and then go swimming. <laughs> After we get something to eat, I'm excited to come back out here to the pool. Like I said, they have a carnival themed pool here and they have the leaping horse libations right here. It's like a little bar area and then an awesome water slide over there. And it's just really cool. And we'll hang out, go swimming, go down the water slide and just enjoy a little bit. The boardwalk is definitely going through some changes and it has been going through some changes. That slide, the water slide at the pool used to be a clown slide and the boardwalk deli is new and there's going to be some new eateries uh, coming up very soon and I have mentioned the room refurbishment so we're going to be here trying to cover it all but it's really amazing how it's still kind of like perfect the way that it is. I kind of love it. It doesn't even seem like there's a lot changing. The Boardwalk Deli has been open for I think just about a month now and I've been waiting to come out and check it out. They have a whole bunch of new sandwiches and stuff and since I'm staying here tonight it seems like the perfect opportunity to. The nightlife at the Boardwalk is really where it's at. I mean they have the Abracadab Bar, they have Jelly Rolls, the Atlantic Dance Hall, lots of fun things happening and just on the Boardwalk itself we'll try to experience some of that a little bit later on and like right now I'm just really really hungry so <laughs> that's why I said Boardwalk Deli it is. And here it is Boardwalk Deli. We're rolling in dough. Come on in. Deli Fountain Resort Mug Refills. I'm so excited. I mean, I like the food that they had here before, but I hear they've uh, definitely stepped up their game a little bit. Looks like they got some nice baked goods like banana bread and blueberry scones. But what you're coming here for is the deli. You got to get the meats. They've got a uh, chicken salad wrap right here. And then they've got a roasted chicken sandwich and a warm pastrami Reuben. I think I'm going to get that too. Look at that. Nice looks good. I like the rye bread there. They also have Italian sub too. There's a lot of good stuff and I like how they get the meats in there. It's just like a regular deli. When you order a sandwich they give you a choice of a side in between chips and soup. So I ended up getting myself some fancy tomato soup. But here it is. We got ourselves a little tomato soup and then the hot pastrami. Look at this. This actually smells amazing. I cannot wait to dive into this. Oh my lord look at that Reuben. Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> the rye bread. Oh, I'm a sucker for rye.
I also picked this shirt out today because I was at the boardwalk and it kind of reminds me of like those boardwalk uh, signs but it's all Pixar characters look you got Eve you got Remy over there it's a really cool shirt very nice Roosevelt but all right here we go I'm gonna dive into the sandwich here it is massive holy moly this is a big sandwich we're gonna pull it apart here holy moly all right here we go one bite <laughs> we're going in Mm. That pastrami is on point. Very meaty sandwich. And now we're gonna check out this tomato soup. I'm not the biggest fan of tomato soup, but I figured why not? Let's give it a go. It's always good. Soup is good with soup. I mean, soup is good with sandwiches. Very, ooh, sorry, I, I was gonna say creamy, but it's a little bit chunky. A little bit chunky, chunky. Gonna have to give it the good soup test. Good soup. <laughs> And just in case you're feeling fancy, you do a little dippity dip, just like that. The good old soup sandwich combo. Hmm? Something else I had to get while we were in the Boardwalk Deli, the warm Mickey cinnamon roll. Look at this. It looks so amazing, doesn't it? I mean, I love all the icing. And at first I thought that like it was just the two ears on the top and it wasn't connected, but it is. It's all connected. Look at the backside. The backside of that hidden Mickey. I had to get it. It's so good and it's warm and toasty and I cannot wait to try it. And of course, just like any other Mickey shaped food item, you have to go ears first. So here we go. Why? Mm. That is so amazing. I love it. <laughs> Honestly, one of the best cinnamon rolls I had at Disney. Now, Gaston's is pretty high up there for me, but I love this. It is so good. And maybe it's just because it's Mickey shaped. I can get influenced pretty easy. I'm going to have no problem eating all of this. And I, it's like a breakfast food, but I don't care. I'm all about it. <laughs> the center of the Mickey has popped out. The center is always the best part of a cinnamon roll, but it literally just popped right out there. It was so good, though. This was definitely probably better than the pastrami sandwich. I mean, that was good, but I'm all about the cinnamon roll life. Now that the cinnamon roll business is taken care of, I say we head back up to the room, switch over to our swimwear, grab the GoPro, and go swimming. Go down the water slide. I feel like that's a good time before it starts raining because it does look like it's a little bit stormy out. All right, we're all switched over, and I brought my GoPro, so I plan on filming as we go down the water slide over here. Now, this one probably isn't as bad as the Grand Floridian's one, but uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. And you might hear a little bit audio difference because we're switching cameras to the GoPro, but I'm excited. And then coming out, maybe grabbing a drink at the uh, little leaping uh, horse libations. All right, I'm all switched over into my swimming suit and I got my Captain America swim trunks on and I'm ready to go. I'm so excited for this slide. It looks so cool. Like I said before, this used to be a big gigantic clown and you come out of the clown's mouth, but look at it now. It's so fun and you'll go all the way up top there and I like Mickey and Minnie in there. It's gonna be a fun slide. Here is my Captain America swim attire from Roosevelt's. And also I want to show you guys my tan lines coming from the Crocs. Look at this. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? It's from the lines on the Crocs. It just blows my mind. I have to show it every time. I'm trying to get it really good. All right, here we are on top of the water side, about to head down. And just look at this view. I'm going to show you a little bit. This is gonna be so much fun, look at this. Lots of spinning right here. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm ready. I mean, it's giving me the green for go, so I might as well go on in. All right, we're doing it, here we go. A little nervous, look at these jets right here. All right, <laughs> okay, I'm going for it. Oh God, it's cold, it's very cold. All right, Woo! whoa, holy moly, oh, ah! no, 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 too fast, too fast. No, 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 no! Ooh, 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 we're spinning! We're spinning! We're spinning! Ah, a backwards smoke! Oh, no, no! I lost my glasses. <laughs> ooh. My hero! 
A hero found my glasses. Look at this guy. What a champion! <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my lord! I can't believe I lost my glasses on that slide and someone actually found them for me. So thank you so much, Fox. He actually came through clutch there because I would have been blind. I mean, that would have been the end of the video. I couldn't, I, I can't see without my glasses. And that would have been such a sad thing, but I'm ready to go back on the slide. That was such a fun slide. Now I think I'm going to do it POV, so facing me, so you guys can see my expression as I go down the slide. Hopefully I don't lose my glasses. I'm going to hold on to them like this, this time. But let's take a second to appreciate how beautiful this sunset is actually right now. Look at this. Wow, it's gorgeous out. The boardwalk is such a pretty spot. All right, here we go. I'm going to hold on to my glasses this time. Oh boy, facing me. Ooh, ah, split too fast, too fast. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, we're flying. Oh, my back. I don't like slides. I don't like water slides anymore. Nope. <laughs> That was so cool. Now it kind of looks like we got the food to ourselves there. Look at it. There's really in nobody out here. So we get to actually show it off a little bit better. I love it out here. It is so pretty. Definitely one of the best pools, I feel like. Let me know what you guys think, though. All right, I think I am done with the pool. Time to head back upstairs, get dressed, and head back down to the boardwalk. See what some of the nightlife is like. Maybe catch a sunset. Now that we're all dried off and back in our play clothes, look at this. They're actually having s'mores right in the middle hub here and probably movie under the stars. Right over there you see they got the screen all set up. But I do love me some s'mores and it's free. I love the smell of fire. Like actually roasting marshmallows is so cool. And they do this at every resort. The marshmallows are free. If you want like graham crackers and chocolate, you have to pay a little bit extra. But I think it's such a cool thing. And it looks like the nightlife is starting to pop off here at the boardwalk. I love this time of the day where it's still daylight out and the lights are coming on. It's so pretty, especially here. And those big neon lights like here at the Flying Fish. I think the first stop is definitely going to be at the Abracadab Bar for maybe an enchanting elixir. Honestly, I love hanging out at this bar. It is so cool. And I wouldn't mind fancying myself maybe a nice little old-fashioned hang out outside here maybe if we can and just watch people. People watch on the boardwalk, you know? Here is a look at the menu here and I'm thinking I'm gonna get the parlor trick. It's kind of like an old-fashioned. It's four roses bourbon and simple syrup with a splash of soda water. But they have some really cool drinks and it's all magician themed. Like I've had the Pepper's Ghost or the uh, Magic Hatton. They're all really amazing and some of them do magic tricks too. This is such a fun bar. But I'm really loving the view right now. Just like hanging out here and just watching the sunset happening. Especially with those lights. And here's the parlor trick. Hopefully it does a trick here. Good evening, friends. I'd give anything to be there with you. But this seems to be one of those times I'm tied down here at the studio night and day. One. Hey! Well, it came about when my daughters were very young and I Saturday was always uh, Daddy's Day with the two daughters. So we'd start out and try to go someplace with, you know, different things. And I would take them to the merry ground and I took them different places. And as I'd sit there while they, uh, they rode the merry ground, did all these things, sit on a bench, you know, eating peanuts, I felt that there should be something built, some kind of a, an amusement enterprise built where that the parents and the children could uh, have fun together. I feel like maybe I should head inside. It was cool kind of people watching, but now I'm, I'm getting a little wet. The table's getting a little wet. Here is a quick look on the inside of the Abracadab bar. It's a little bit busy in here, so I can't show you much, but I love all the decoration and it's all like magician themed. It's a really cool lounge. It's a little tiny though, but probably my favorite thing is the floors. Look at that. Aren't the floors so cool looking? 
one of my favorite things inside the Abracadab Bar is this little paper right here, the Boardwalk Bugle, Missing Magician's Secret Hideout Revealed. And then look at down here, it actually says the Flying Fish on, of Crescent Lake. Speaking of the restaurant Flying Fish, let's see if we can get maybe a dining reservation. And would you look at that, it seems I was able to actually obtain a dining reservation at the Flying Fish. This is one of my favorite restaurants and I think it has uh, my number two favorite steak in all of Walt Disney World. I'm pretty sure the charred New York strip hit the second uh, tier there for me. It was number two spot, but uh, it's really, really good. And uh, since we're staying here, might as well have a little late dinner. I think it's safe to say this is the brightest spot on the whole of boardwalk and uh, I'm happy that we got a reservation now this is some high-class stuff right here I mean the service is impeccable very impeccable and it stay and it actually shares uh, kind of the uh, space with the abracadabra bar so when we go in I'll show you guys real quick you can actually see oh well thank you very fancy you can see uh, right there abracadabra bar <laughs> I was able to get a dining reservation, but I decided to sit at the bar because that's basically first come, first serve. And since it's gonna be a party of one, I'd rather someone else be able to sit at the table and a server actually being able to have a couple there, you know what I mean? And you can get the full menu at the bar. And I should have thought of that because I probably would have came in at the bar here instead of over at Abracadab Bar. But I guess uh, maybe we'll just double do it. <laughs> This restaurant is so amazing. It's so beautiful in here. And the bar is actually one of the coolest looking bars I think I've ever sat at. Like, look at this here. Look at all the bottles up here. It's looking real fancy. And this is our spot right here, right next to the kitchen there. And they got an open kitchen. It's really, really cool. And they even got little uh, hat hooks back here. Little purse hooks so we can put our hats there. Here is a look at the menu here. And like I said, I'm always here for that char crust at New York Strip. And it comes with a potato gratin. It's $56, but it's my number two. I can't go, you know what I mean? If it was anything, if it was a ribeye, I'm pretty sure it would be my number one. Because I love the ribeye, you know what I mean? But this is such a phenomenal steak, and I'm definitely going with it today. Another cool thing, they have fish silverware. And I'm, I'm saying that with all honesty because they are like little tiny fishes. Look at this. So fancy. I might actually have to put them in my purse. They might be coming home with me. No, I'm only kidding, no. <laughs> Along with our charred crust at New York Strip, we're getting the bread service, and this is complimentary, and they make the butter in-house, and they actually outsource the bread from a local place over on the East End Market. And look at this bread. Oh, wow. It's so amazing. This place is such a highly rated restaurant. Let me tell you something. Like, this is almost as signature as California Grill, if it's not even more signature than California Grill, in my opinion. I am all about this bread right here. And the lighting in here is phenomenal, but look at this. And of course, we gotta try some of the house-made butter, you know? Look at the house-made butter and bread locally sourced from this area. You can't go wrong. That's good bread. Seriously, look at this fish fork. <laughs> I love it. I literally, I love the fish fork and like the little scalies on the knife. Ah, oh, much too good. So I have to tell you guys something that's really amazing about this restaurant. The name Flying Fish is actually uh, comes from a roller coaster that was at Luna Park one time, and now that roller coaster is at Knobles in Elysburg, Pennsylvania that I used to go to and I just went to, but it's called Flying Turns. It's the trackless roller coaster and the roller coasters itself actually have a flying fish one and then all of the stations in the kitchen are named after each car. So how crazy is that? A Disney Knobles connection. Small world. <laughs> Honestly, I really love sitting at the bar here. I think any time now that I come here, I think I'm always going to sit at the bar. I love the lights and just the atmosphere. Bill is such a great bartender. It's just really cool, and, it, and you can get the full menu. They even, like I said, even give it the bread service here. And uh, it's probably a lot easier to sit at the bar than it is to find reservations. And take a look at this. The steak has arrived. Look at that char on that steak. This is unbelievable. Look at this. Oh my lord. 
This is why this is one of my favorite steaks on property. And it's a New York strip, and you guys know I'm a big ribeye guy. So if this was a ribeye, this would probably be my number one selection. And then this potato over here is so good. Look at that. Oh, wow. Also, it has a bolognese sauce, too. And I asked for it on the side this time to show you. But it, this steak doesn't need it. I mean, this is just adding to it, but... This steak is so phenomenal. I'm gonna cut into it now and show you guys what I'm talking about, but it's much too good. I'm gonna take a little piece, just a corner piece. Look at this. I can see the char, I love the char. You can't go wrong with that. Look at that. I'm trying to zoom in on that, not me. Oh no, it's not working. Oh, oh, any second, oh, any second. There it is, look at that. This is the stuff. Honestly, this steak right now might be the best steak I've ever had in my life. Like, when I walked in, I got to talk to the chefs, and they were talking about how much I enjoyed my last visit here, and they just stepped it up another level. I mean, look at it. Literally just look at this steak right now and tell me it's not phenomenal. I'm gonna cut just a little bit on the inside so you can see it. Look at that. Oh my lord. This is everything I love about a steak right now. I'm gonna be dreaming about this after I leave here. <laughs> I didn't even get into the potato yet. Look at this. So, Watch so this we, crunch. We, we call it our potato stack. It's a plan of potato gratin. Oh. 13 layers of potato. 13 layers. In between each layer is boars and cheese and brown butter. We can press that and we just drop it in the fryer. That's like crazy. Yep. Amazing. <laughs> like, I don't even like potatoes gratin that much, but this is just on another level. 13 layers right there. Look at that. Wow. Phenomenal. I tried a couple of different sauces with the snake, and we have a truffle sauce right over here, and then the Bernie sauce, this usually just comes with it, and then the cassis right here, and I have to say, this was by far the most amazing thing to complement this steak. So if you come, ask for the cassis, and you're gonna love it. Like, look at this. I'm like, like cutting this up in little tiny pieces because I wanna savor it as much as I can. That was such an amazing meal. I love flying fish. I mean, everybody knows that, but tonight the team really hit it out of the park. It was so good. And I also ran into uh, Joshi, uh, your mom and dad. And I wanted to say thanks for watching the videos. I know I sent you a video uh, for 4th of July, but I wanted to say hi again. And I hope you're having a good night. So thanks so much, Joshi. And now I figured we'd uh, probably just make our way back up to the room now. I mean, good meal I've, I feel like I can call it a night but seriously I do have to say I really do love the lobby here at Disney's Boardwalk Resort it is so amazing I haven't seen this uh, carousel go off in a while though I don't know if they have like a little button in the back there but sometimes it actually like lights up and then starts spinning around I wonder if the DVC people control it I wonder if they have a button back here <laughs> snoop around a little bit See what's going on here. They do have some sanitizer though. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> a lot of people always talk about these chairs in the boardwalk lobby. These are nanny chairs. These are actually in uh, a carousel. Like uh, during the 19th century, they had carousels. And while the kids were actually on the horses and the lions, this is where the nannies would actually sit. Isn't that kind of cool? It's kind of creepy though, but they are really, really kind of like a cool thing here at the boardwalk everyone loves them i mean can you imagine if you actually own one of them look at the feet they actually even have feet like feet feet and they paint the toenails too <laughs> 
And with that, I think we are done here tonight. I think I'm gonna hit the sack and go to bed and wake up and enjoy a nice boardwalk sunrise. I'm probably not gonna film it, I just kinda wanna relax and enjoy my morning. But uh, it was a lot of fun hanging out today. Like I said, it was really amazing to be able to come here. The room was only $90, like that's so awesome. And I love that I get to show you guys a lot about renting DVC points because it's something I really believe in. So I'm glad that I partnered up with the World of DVC and the DVC rental store and even the DVC resale market. I have all of their links in the description. I wanna find the best people to connect you with and most of them are all like former cast members who just branched out on their own. So it's a really trustworthy company and it's cool that I get these opportunities to show you guys these awesome rooms and amazing deals and just kind of pass that on. Now, you know what I mean? It's honestly, I, I generally do enjoy helping people uh, plan their vacations and make the most of it too because it's something I wish I kind of had. I, I, I didn't know anything about it, you know what I mean, when I started vacationing here. So I just generally enjoy that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>